<laughs> so today we're leaving Barcelona. We've had an awesome couple of days exploring the city. And it's been here since 1872. I'm really looking forward to going around the Gothic quarter. Hey. Keep the left. We're now actually just making a beeline now towards the Granada province. Why does this feel shorter? Do you, not, do you normally wear it like that? I don't know. I don't know. Whoa. Um, bonjour. Hola. Buenos dias. What are you most looking forward to seeing? Uh, I'm really looking forward to going around the Gothic quarter. I came to Barcelona about six, seven years ago with work. Um, well, for a conference for like four days and we managed to get a day off at the end and we just hopped on one of those like red bus tour things like did one big route and it was absolutely amazing well that took about five six hours but i'm actually probably able to walk around this time so yeah definitely gothic quarter good morning oh can you see our breath we're in spain and it's so cold there's ice on well there's ice on the car windscreen this morning it is cold it's a little bit cold but we are what 20 about 30 miles outside of barcelona yeah in a nice little secure park up yeah um, as a lot of you pointed out in our last video and as we know anyway security in spain is a little bit or can be an issue and especially around barcelona so we're staying out of the city in a secure place and then we're going to get the train in and it's about 20 minutes half an hour in so seven euros return which is pretty nice so we're going to go in i've never been to barcelona so i'm looking forward to seeing it today And what are you looking forward to? I am most looking forward to the food. I've heard amazing things about Barcelona food and obviously the architecture and see some of the cool buildings. Can you see down here? It's like a really cool. You can kind of see under the altar, I think. So we're in the cathedral at the minute and it's absolutely gorgeous. So if you watched a few of our videos, you'll see that we kind of often go to cathedrals. I think it's just like, they're so awe-inspiring. Like when you walk in, each one is different. And just with the big columns and then the big vaulted ceilings and then like, yeah. Neither of us are really, well, neither of us are religious at all, but yeah, they're really, really like awe-inspiring places to visit. We've just come for a quick pit stop. I've had one of the most amazing cinnamon buns I've ever had in my life. And then an actually decent sized coffee, so... What have you got? Yeah, pastry caramel thing. I think it was really nice, it's really sweet. So many people that are into like fitness and like to look after themselves here. Like along here, there's loads of people like running, or power walking, um, rollerblading, or yeah. You know. Well, it's a few hours later. We have walked a few hours later. so far today. We just ended up walking around Barcelona. Tomorrow like we're going to go and do proper sightseeing but today we just want to kind of get a feel for the place and it was amazing but bloody hell my feet knackered. Great day. Ben's flaking aren't you? I'm flaking now <laughs> so we're going to go back, we're going to crack open a desperado and relax. Yeah sounds good to me. Well good morning it's day two of our Barcelona trip. We didn't really vlog much last night. We literally just crashed in a way. We were so shattered, literally so tired. Love cities, but yeah, they definitely take it out of you. And we walked so far, my legs were like aching when I was in bed last night. 
ready for round two. Ready for round two? Yeah. Let's go. We just met a German couple, or the people that parked up next to us. They're really lovely, aren't they're they? They're so nice, really yeah. Nice. Um, they got friends in Cornwall, or literally just outside of um, Plymouth from where, or where I'm from. So, yeah, yeah small cool. world, yeah. yeah. Obviously you can't come to Barcelona without coming to see the Sagrada Familia. First impressions? I literally got goosebumps as we walked in. That's amazing. I don't think I would. My mum said she got emotional when she came to Barcelona. And I kind of laughed, but I actually genuinely got goosebumps when we walked in. This is incredible. One of the things I love about this is how Gaudi is used like light and like all these kind of like organic lines and stuff. So you feel like you could be in like a cave. It doesn't really feel like a man-made building. I said it reminds me of a really posh Fred Flintstone's building. Well, Fred, it reminds me of a Fred Flintstone's house. That's what it does. That's what that's the whole feel of it, isn't it? On acid. On acid. Can't you hold? Can't you hold? Why won't you stop? I wanna rewind. We've just come to this really gorgeous little cafe in the Gothic Quarter, and it's been here since 1872. It's just this awesome, like, exposed brick building. It just goes really far back, and like, even now I can see it goes back further still. There's more rooms that way. So under. Why I'm here, why I'm living, why do I feel this fear of singing in front of you all? Three good photos and... Alright, so today we are... You look like the thumb then. There you go. <laughs> Today we're leaving Barcelona, we've had an awesome couple of days exploring the city. I'll put a link down below to the place that we parked because it was a really, really great spot. It was a secure campsite, it was manned, it was kind of gated, there was kind of, it was really busy so there's always people around and we left our washing out like for the whole day to dry yesterday and nothing yeah. got taken. No showers, toilets, showers, water, washing machines and everything we needed for a and it was like and stay in Barcelona. 16 euros a night and then there was a train station that was like a five minute walk took you literally directly into Barcelona Central to like the main square for like three euros fifty single so it was. There we go that's a bit nice eh? and we met some really lovely people really lovely German couple that we're coming up from Portugal as we're heading towards Portugal yeah. and they gave us some they've given us this it was Karen and Michelle I think and they gave us this list of places to go so, so they're probably not watching this but they were awesome they're such a lovely couple so it was really nice to meet them and yeah that comes like 100% recommend it especially as like safety around Barcelona is a bit of an issue for some people so yeah, it's like a little question, rec question wasn't it yeah family, so. and we've already seen like two lots of like smashed car window kind of on the ground so yeah, that was um, but that comes out. Definitely recommend that. And now we're going to be heading a couple of hours south, aren't we? Yep. And head south to find a park up for the next few days. We've decided today as well to go through um, some toll roads because they aren't as expensive as France and. We do a mixture, sometimes we do toll roads, sometimes we avoid them, it just depends if we want to get somewhere in. We did about a two and a half hour drive today, so we think it's all right to use a toll road. Um, what and you haven't used a toll road, and like, I think in England you just pay when you get onto them. Whereas here a lot of them you take a ticket, like a parking ticket, and then you pay for as long as you're on it, I think. Or it's kind of, yeah. Yeah, I think that's, yeah. The it's fair like depends on how long you're on there. The distance you've traveled with. Um, so you have to keep hold of this, and then you just pay up and exit. Hold it. Oh, it's only 85 cents. So we've made it down to an area in Spain called Delta de Lebre, which is this tiny, tiny little like, I don't know what you call it. It's a tiny little area of like wetland and marshland, I think. But, fun fact, we're surrounded by rice paddies. I didn't have, I never knew that Spain grew rice. I, mean, I know it's famous for paella, but we're surrounded by rice paddies. Well, 
looks like the road we want to take is no bueno that is no bueno so there's the sea over there and then this is the road and that's the alternate road and i think it's a little bit flooded what's the matter what's the meaning it's a shame we can't stay here but the road we were gonna go on is flooded, which I think you said a minute ago. Um, and we don't want to risk staying on this one just in case for some reason it floods overnight or anything and we're buggered. So, stayed, have some lunch, and then we're gonna put in a few more hours driving, I think, and keep going south. Does that sound good? Sounds good to me. Bueno. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear like how close to the waves we are. We just pulled up to this little car park somewhere on the Spanish coast. And if they were big waves, I'd be like pretty worried they'd be yeah, hitting, the, fair, hitting right. the van. Was, yeah. In fact, I saw one of the reviews said, somebody said they were worried about the waves. And I was thinking, weirdo. But now I, I can see why. It's really bright this morning. Cool. I'm gonna say Spain is really spoiling us with these park ups. We had a long drive yesterday, I don't worry about five hours. Yeah, it was, not it? Five, no, yeah. six hours, I think. Yeah, we yeah. drove down here, arrived here in the dark, and obviously we knew the waves were really close, but we just didn't think it would be. Well, the job wasn't a stormy sea, otherwise. Yeah, the if it was washed. stormy, yeah, I didn't, I didn't think we could park here. But we're kind of just um, a tiny bit north of Alicante, I think, on this kind of little cape thing. Um, but this is beautiful. Very much. Oh, yes. As I said yesterday, we are going to be doing another long drive today because we're trying to make it down to the Grenada province of Spain. Do you fancy going for a walk this morning? Yeah, There's a little cut some like steps up the cliff there, which could be. I think we've seen yeah. some people walking up there. I don't think they're private. Um, no, I don't think they're private. No, I think cool. they probably take up. To, uh, I think it might be like a viewpoint or something. But yeah, just go for it. Yeah, yeah good for it. A morning stroll. Huh? I might have to drive in a t-shirt today, it's a bit hot in this. 
Yeah, it's Obviously, getting warmer. The, the more south we go, the warmer it's getting, which is nice. And I'll soon be able to sunbathe a little bit. <laughs> Some vitamin D in me. That sounds a lot worse than it's supposed to be, if I'm honest, yeah. <laughs> Get some vitamin D absorbed into my skin. I don't know, it still didn't sound no, any better. <laughs> so we've got 200 miles to cover today. What time is it? It's 10 o'clock. It means we're going to get there at 1.24 apparently. So probably about like quarter to two really, realistically by the time. Maybe actually, maybe a little bit later by the time we stop to get more, some more bread, so we say. But that was, what a lovely place that was. Hey? Boom! Maybe you won't worry about me nearly clipping anything if you think about it. Well, I just close my eyes. Cross the roundabout and take the third. I've changed seating position today and I'm sat right next to Ben. Oh, no, I feel like I have an open right. space. You feel like you've got an open person's space. You just feel like oranges were sat there. She waved! <laughs> she waved! The woman at the motorhome. I saw it was a British and I was like, and she went. <laughs> <laughs> Ben's been trying to wave at basically every motorhome that comes from the passes and no one has been waving back, but she waved back. I really want to send the drone up here because this road is the windiest narrowest little cliff top road but we just can't gorgeous, there's though. just nowhere to stop and get the drain up but it's very it's narrow just... isn't it? so that hairy three kilometer dirt road has brought us to a beautiful park up there's a few other van lifers here and we're just going to sit here for a couple of days and just kind of relax and take it all in i was busy putting stuff away and then i went outside and look what i found day enjoying himself oh. make yourself at home yeah this is what i've been waiting for cheers cheers <laughs> <laughs>